Hey guys, welcome to Functional Print Friday. If you like design and using 3D printing to solve real world problems and not just printing trinkets, this channel is for you. So what I've got for you this week is I've got my table saw here and this is a DeWalt portable table saw. I love this thing, works great, has a wonderful fence for a portable saw. But I use it equally in the shop and also taking it out and using it either outside or someplace else on a project. So I needed a way to easily get this saw um, onto a nice firm base, in this case a rolling base, um, and not have it slide off while I'm using it, but still be able to get it off of the base fairly quickly. So I designed uh, a set of mounts here, and there are two pieces here in the front that you see. They kind of wrap about halfway around that bar. And then in the back, there is a piece here where the foot of the saw actually slips into it. And this is a very solid base. I could pick this saw up and lift the whole base. It's not going anywhere. Um, so let me get you down off the tripod and show you these a little bit closer. And then I'll show you how easy it is to get the saw off of the table. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit better now. Um, in the front, it works kind of just like almost like a, a washer just to evenly distribute the, the force across the bar. And by the way, I should have mentioned um, these holes uh, already exist, at least on this DeWalt saw. This is a, let's see, where's the model number? This is the DWE7480. Um, but they have several saws that are very similar to this, and I think they're all um, similarly designed as far as this tube frame that goes around. So these, again, these utilize the, the, the already pre-drilled holes in this bar here, and it is just a long all-purpose screw. In fact, you can see the screw extending down underneath because it doesn't actually sit on this bar, it sits on these rubber feet. Um, so one there, one here, and then on the back, hopefully you can get an idea of how that works. It is sort of a half, um, uh, half the shape of this foot inside and the foot just slips into there. So. Let me pull the two screws out of the front and I'll show you just how easily this comes off. All right, let's go take a look at the design files for this, see if there's anything I missed. Are you guys in my toolbox? Oh, well, I have your attention. You know, I was looking at my YouTube statistics and only like 2% of you guys that watch these videos are actually subscribed. I put out a new video every Friday, every single week, like five to 15 minutes long. The focus is on a design idea that I came up with to solve a problem for me around the shop, or around the house. If you're interested in that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button and hit that like button if this video helped you out. And if you have any thoughts or ideas, maybe a different way you would have designed it, or if you did something similar, comment below. I'd be curious to hear it. Thanks guys. Okay, so here's the designs for this, and this wasn't too hard to design. Probably the most complicated part was just getting an accurate measurement of the radius uh, for the bar on the front and then for the feet in the back. And you can see all of these, all the holes where there's screws uh, meant to go through are uh, beveled to match roughly the bevel of just a standard all-purpose screw, like a, you know, like a drywall screw. Um, and that's really about it. I printed this in PLA. Um, you could do this in TPU, that would probably be even better, but I've had my saw on and off with these printed in just plain old PLA, just Hatchbox PLA, probably, geez, I don't know, it's probably been on and off of there 50 times, and I've never had any issue. Um, it also was, took me a little bit of uh, figuring out, I think I did a couple different generations of this or versions of it until I got the height of this rear one just right, that... Um, the feet would slip in underneath of this and not have any movement at all. So when the saw is running um, or when you're moving it, it doesn't move at all, but that you can still easily slide the saw out. So again, hopefully these are useful to you. Um, I'll put the model number of the saw down in the description so you can reference it, see if you've got the same saw. But I'm willing to bet that the feet and that bar size is probably the same on all of the DeWalt portable saws and might even be the same across a couple other different brands as well. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, I'll see you next week. All right, seriously, come on, it's getting late. You guys, you got to go home.